So, GoPacking270 here with, I guess you can call this Getting to Know Your Naruto Cards Part 2. Um, I know it's been a year, and I want to apologize to everyone who's been waiting for Part 2. I gave you Part 1. Some people didn't like it, some people did, and I just, sorry, I quit the game. Like, mostly I have are just commons and rares and stuff that are just in boxes. But it, it'd still be a helpful video. So, um, I'm going to probably do a lot of parts, and I'm going to make sure to do this at least once a week or more. I'll probably do like a couple, maybe even a couple tonight. Just like stay up all night and do this shit, I don't care. Who cares about school? So, um, let me tell you the reason why I quit. Was, how do I explain this? There's a block format, and all the cards probably I'm using right here are all banned. That's right, in Naruto, they followed the magic, the gathering. I'm sorry if you don't know card games, but they have what's called, some have a block format. Meaning up to a set, which it, which are packs that come out, they are only they are not available to use. So only these cards that are like in the past six packs that have come out are only be able to use. That's what a block format is, and there's restricted. And I'll get into that great detail later. So um, before I even start, um, you may doubt because I haven't played in a while. What well, technically I have. That I don't know how to play. Like I wanted tuning for all of those who know how to play. It is a higher ranking tournament after only playing for a week. So I didn't know any of the decks that were out. But um, I just say this: my friends are probably the best Naruto players in the country. Um, for those of you who know how to play or just getting look for some helpful tips later on, it's called Team Enjoy um, from the store Enjoy and. Danny Collins, one of my friends who gave me his deck to play with, has two SJC wins, Shonen Jump Championship wins, so he is a professional Naruto player. So I am going to, um, re I haven't checked out my old video to know what I covered, so this may be a review, I'm not sure, but I'm going to go over, not effects, not any of that, just the very basics of the cards. So first, this is what we call a ninja card. Now... As you can see, the backgrounds become different colors uh, for different type of attributes. Let me see if I can find. You know, Earth. Let me find an Earth real quick. There you go. So in Naruto, there is five basic what we call element cards. Now, I'm, if you don't, how does it? Do you pl if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, this will be a little bit easier because I'm going to be using references. So, this is what we call elements in Naruto. This one is lightning. This one is fire. This one's water. This one's earth. This one's wind. So, each Naruto card has different attributes. So, basically, attributes are going to be depending on different types of cards, which I'll review now, later. So, first, so that we have the elements. So each card has its own elements. Now there are different, say, Naruto cards. For Naruto himself, he may be a different element. That's fine, it doesn't matter. It's just for this card, he is this element. So purple is lightning. So that's what the backgrounds are. Let me switch these. Okay. Next, we identify right here with ninja. It identifies what type they are. In Naruto, basically, the basic three, they have others, are ninjas. Jutsus and missions. So this one's a ninja. These ones which have a blue border are called missions. And these with a yellow goldish kind of background thing with brown are jutsus. So if you're familiar with the Naruto show, is you have the people who are ninjas, you have the missions what they do, and the jutsu which help the ninjas and require only some ninjas. There are cards like Sharingan Eye. Obviously, Naruto cannot use it because he does not have the Sharingan Eye. But cards like Sasuke, which have Sharingan Eye, can use it. So those are the basic cards. Now, there's also things called clients. These are very similar. They look like Naruto. I mean, they look like um, ninjas. It will say client right there. I know it's in the best camera. And basically, they have a significant difference between ninjas. They are basically... Just sitting here. They don't do anything except for their own effect. They don't go out to battle. They don't go fight other ninjas. So. We have. Right here. Right next to the name. It may or may not have it. Because they might be rogue ninjas. Or may not. It is the symbol of the village. So this is leaf. 
and right under it, right there, where my thumb is, right here, it will also say Leaf. So, some cards, not all of them, yet again, will say they're ranking Genin. This Naruto is Genin. There are other Naruto's maybe tuning more, etc. It doesn't matter. But it does matter for some cards. It, on it only matters from some cards that have requirements. Meaning it has to be, say, a tuning or higher to use. So you're wondering what the ranking is. It's right here. Is It goes from lowest to highest, which is Ninja Academy Student, Genin, Tuning, Special Joni. Now, in the anime, they do not have Special Joni. So, um, cards like Anko is a Special Joni in the card game, but in anime is Joni. There is a difference, though. Because some cards um, are Special Joni, they cannot use Joni. You have Joni, and you have Satusa slash Sani. These are the highest rankings. Okay, so we'll get back here. So we'll identify if it's male or female, usually on most cards, unless they are an animal, which is that, but I'll get into that in a second. And for this card, some cards will have what's called growth. Now, if you have this card in your hand, and you have another Naruto on the field, you can play this on top, basically on top of the other Naruto, and do you see these numbers right here, which I'll explain in a moment? They all get plus one. So this will be one, one, and four, one. That's what a growth does. So right now, I'll just explain what this is. In Naruto, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, if it gets hit, it does not die. In Naruto, do you see how it's zero, zero? You play it like this. Say, if you get, your opponent has Shino. What you can do... I will not explain the steps right now, but basically there's called a battle step, which is your battle phase when you're going to declare an attack. So you go, Shino's squad declares an attack. You have a choice of your ninjas, whatever they could be, it could be one, it could be zero, it doesn't matter, and bring Naruto. So Shino is a two. Naruto is a zero, which is on the left side is what the head ninja uses. So, Shino would win. Because he has 2, and this Naruto has 0. So, Naruto go what is called injured status. Injured status is when you take 4 or less damage during the battle phase. So, this will be here. And you may be saying, what's damage? Is the difference between here and here. It's 2, so it's only 1 damage. If it's 5 or more, it's instantly killed. So, you must be asking, what's the other side right here? On the right side. That is what we call a support status. Cards like Dosu have 2-1, meaning if I play, you can form squads, you know how they have in the show, the squad is Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. You form the squad like this, with three ninjas. You have the head ninja, which is going to be Neji for the team, meaning this is the head ninja status, and the support ninjas, which are the right side of the card, so it will be three and four total. So you and your opponent can make teams, or squads, we'll use teams, of three ninjas or less. You can use two, you can use one, it doesn't matter. So that's basically how you do a little battle. I'll explain more of it later. So back to the cards. Cards like Neji will have Byakugan, which is their, their uh, KK Genkai. And will have some requirements that are like uh, trap cards. Or Jutsu cards, so I use Yu-Gi-Oh Yu references, that will require certain stuff. So, cards will use Byakugan. So also, you have what is called a turn cost. At Naruto, you, every guy starts at zero. Both players start at zero. At the end of your turn, it turns to turn one. At the end of your next turn, it's turn two, and so on. So some cards like Naruto have a zero entrance cost, meaning you can just play it first turn. Dosu has a turn one, meaning you have to wait a turn to do it, to deploy ninja. Cards like Neji are two, so you have to wait two turns to play Neji. Right next to it is what's called a hand cost. So basically a hand cost is being able to play it. Cards like Itachi have a hand cost of one card, meaning to play this card, you're going to have to charge another card in your hand that has fire. So say are these student cards in your hand, 
You go like this, you summon, you pay your hand cost, you deploy, sorry, I use you go, and you put to your chakra. I'll explain what the chakra is later in the next video, which I'm probably going to put up over here because I want to make sure you get everything. And last but not least on your card, well, two more things. You're going to have your effect, which I'll explain different effects later in another video. And you have right here in the corner, which types, what kind of stuff they can use. This one is a Genjutsu type. Um, a lot, I don't know how many types that they use because they print different types all the time. Like cards like Kimimaru, which is just the bone guy. He has bone, and I'm pretty sure he's the only one in all the card game has bone. So they make cards for certain. This one is Genjutsu. And cards that are like Jutsus, which I explained before, have requirements for doing that. So time's running out. Um, that'll be the first video. I'll record a video right after this. And now we'll put both up tonight. So I'm going to be basically redoing the first video with more detail. Right, go pack 270 out.